Hello and welcome to the Introduction to Pulse webinar. Today we will be showing you some of the features of Pulse and how you can get started using it, all for free. Just as a reminder, in order to be able to customize profiles as I will be showing you today, you do need to register with Pulse, but all you need is a valid email address. So what is a profile? A profile is a previously configured, customized configuration of Eclipse that you can install anywhere using Pulse. OK, let's get started. Once you've logged into Pulse, you, can, you will be taken to the Pulse Explorer screen. From this screen, you can create, delete and edit any profiles that you may have. You can also add and delete software from individual profiles. To get started with Pulse, you always need a base piece of software or an existing profile. Let's choose the Eclipse 3.4 IDE for Java. There are many ways to get this into our own personal profile. You can drag and drop it onto the profile tree, or you can just double click on it and Pulse will automatically run the install for that piece of software. Now that we've created the base of our profile, let's take a look at the software that's actually included. There are many ways to add additional software to a profile. You can browse through the catalog that comes with Pulse. You can have your own custom update site or you can unzip files directly into the drop-ins Eclipse directory. We're going to use the catalog that comes as part of Pulse. As I said, you can browse through the catalog, but it is quite extensive, so it's usually easier to find what you're looking for by searching. Let's add the Subclips plugin for Subversion. If you add a plugin with additional optional dependencies, Pulse will prompt you to add those dependencies if you wish to. We'll also add any edit as it contains some nice features that we want in our profile. These are just dragged and dropped onto the profile to become part of that profile. Now that we've created a profile, we are free to edit any component of that profile, any of the base software, the personal software, or any of the components that that relies on. Now that we have created a profile, let's use Pulse to install and run that profile. We select the Install and Run button and Pulse begins the process of installation. You'll notice that Pulse is resolving and validating all of the software we have chosen for our tool stack. Any dependencies are being resolved and installed, so you don't have to worry about conflicts between your chosen components. Once we've accepted the license agreements and click Install, Pulse will complete the process for us. Of course, as mentioned earlier, all of this is available for free. Once Pulse has finished the installation process, we will be presented with the standard start screens for Eclipse. You'll get to pick your workspace and then the workbench will load. Once Eclipse is loaded, you will see the standard workbench welcome pages that you're used to. Now that Eclipse is installed for us, let's go to the workbench and check that all of the additional software has also been installed. We can go to the SVN Repository Exploring Profile and that confirms that our subclips functionality has been installed for us. We can check the preferences and look for the Any Edit. If we go into General and Editors, we should see Any Edit tools, and we do. This confirms that all of the extra software we added has been installed for us. This concludes our presentation for today. We showed you how you can use Pulse to install an instance of Eclipse and add software to that instance. Pulse can also be used to provision an entire workspace, including profiles, repositories, and projects. All of the functionality we showed you today can be used in Pulse for free. Other versions of Pulse, for which there is a small charge, contain additional functionality, such as the ability to share profiles with other users. You can also share profiles across multiple machines and different operating systems. Please take a moment and look at our website for other screencasts detailing different features and functionality of Pulse.